Imagine playing an instrument without touching it. Sounds impossible, right? But Lev Terman made it possible. This Russian inventor and musician, born as Lev Sergeyevich Terman on a balmy summer's day in August of 1896, was a prodigy from the start. His intrigue with both science and music was evident early on, and this curiosity led him down a path of discovery at St. Petersburg University, where he mastered the fields of physics and electrical engineering. But it wasn't just equations and theories that intrigued Terman. The enchanting melodies of a cello, a musical instrument he adored, also captured his heart. In 1919, this fascination culminated in the invention of the theremin, the world's first electronic musical instrument that required no physical contact. Imagine creating harmonies and melodies simply by moving your hands in the air, manipulating the electric field around two antennas. Terman's invention, the theremin, changed the way we understand and interact with music, creating a unique blend of science and art. The theremin was not just a novelty in Russia, but it sparked interest worldwide. The 1920s saw Lev Terman, or Leon Theremin as he was known in the West, showcasing his intriguing invention at exhibitions across Europe and America. The theremin's ethereal sound, controlled without any physical contact, captured the imaginations of musicians, scientists, and the public alike. In 1928, heeding the siren call of innovation, Terman crossed the Atlantic to the United States. His goal? To further refine his invention and collaborate with other forward-thinking minds. America was a land of opportunity for Terman, where he could not only promote the theremin, but also delve into other groundbreaking projects. These included pioneering work on security systems and crafting unique sound effects for the burgeoning film industry. However, even as he reveled in the success of his American journey, a storm was brewing. Even though he faced success in America, Terman's life took an unexpected turn when he had to return to his homeland. Back in the USSR, Terman faced accusations of espionage and imprisonment, but his passion for science and music never wavered. After being forced to return to his homeland in 1938, Terman found himself in a precarious situation. Accused of espionage, he spent several years in prison, but even this didn't dampen his scientific spirit. He continued to work on projects, notably a system for detecting submarines. Once released, Terman didn't waste time lamenting his past. He plunged back into his work, teaching at various scientific institutions and reigniting his passion for the theremin. His dedication to this unique instrument led to its application in diverse fields of art, from classical music to popular culture, even making its way into films and television shows. Terman's legacy, his life's work, continues to resonate today. His theremin, his love for music and science, still inspires new musicians and inventors. Lev Terman's life and work continue to inspire, reminding us that the boundaries of music and science are only limited by our imagination.